two. Engine start. One, zero, and liftoff of the Delta II rocket with Kepler on a search for planets in some way like our own. Burn air engine chamber pressures are building. Groundlet solid motors are building in chamber pressure. Increasing at this time. The pressure's looking good. Kepler is a spacecraft that's finding planets through the transit method. It looks at the, the light coming from a star. The goal of the Kepler mission writ large is to, to tell how common the Earth is. So it's looking at a, a range of stars, but most importantly is the sun-like stars. Can we find planets the size of the Earth in orbits around sun-like stars at the same distance that the Earth is from our star? There's a few very successful techniques to find exoplanets. Um, the one that I've been exploiting recently is called the transit method, and that's where a planet passes in front of the star from our perspective thus blocking, blocking out a little bit of light, so it's a miniature eclipse. And we monitor the brightness of the star and see that a, a little bit of that is missing as a function of time and infer that a planet must have been passing over it. A planet like this would, would block a lot more of the starlight than a planet like this. Um, of course, there's, there's even bigger planets, <laughs> gas giants, and they're much bigger than these other types of planets. What we see most directly in Kepler is the size of the planet. We have different sized planets and they have different densities. Um, the big planets can be quite, quite low density compared to the rocky planets. So you might have a miniature gas giant, which is the same size as uh, a, another planet, but it could have a much different mass because the volume is predominantly gas. So what we're trying to do though is find uh, rocky planets. You have planets where they're orbiting around the star, but there's another planet catching up with it along, along their orbits. And this other planet has the effect of pulling on, on this planet. So it pulls it back um, as they orbit. So then the next time this planet comes around, it will come early or late. And so this is called the transit timing technique. My role in the project was to figure out from those timing signatures what the masses of the other planets were to be able to tell what their mass is, we're really going to have to rely on these indirect techniques where we tell, we can sense how much mass a planet is exerting on other planets in the system. Um, once we have its mass and have its size, we can determine its, its density and uh, get closer to the answering the question of, are they truly terrestrial type planets like the Earth?